you described as anyone who shows interest in your project or your idea or who is or thinks she or he is influenced by the outcome. Identifying stakeholders who need to be engaged with is one of the most difficult uh, but also one of the most important part of an innovation process. That's why we want to introduce you some stakeholder mapping um, and prioritization tools today. So um, let me start with this template. This template represents a stakeholder um, ecosystem. It is composed of three different circles who represent different stakeholders you can encounter. So on the first side of the circle, you have your internal stakeholder. These are individuals who usually are directly concerned or impacted with the problem at stake. Um, think for example by directors or your colleagues or athletes. Then you have connected stakeholders. Connected stakeholders are those who have some sort of relationship with the organization. Um, this can be, for example, an economic relationship or a contractual relationship. Think about, for example, your company shareholders or suppliers, for instance. And then, last but not least, we have external stakeholders. Those stakeholders are not directly connected to the organization per se, but they might have some sort of interest in the organization or in the outcome of the activities itself. Think for instance about the government or interest pressure groups or media organizations for instance. So in order to help yourself filling in this template, um, ask yourself questions like what individuals or group have a stake or an interest in the issue? Who makes a decision? Who can influence your decisions? Who is critical to delivery? And who will be potentially impacted by the outcome? So let me just share with you um, a recent project that we did with a hospital. So basically they were facing the issue that healthcare providers were not fully compliant with um, rules regarding hand hygiene. Um, so they wanted to change that behavior. Um, so when we first um, came together and started to think about the challenge, uh, we actually applied this tool for the first time. And um, what was very interesting that they had to push beyond what they just um, conceived as regular stakeholders. So Alice, once you and your team identified the stakeholders in the challenge, what was the next step? So the next step, um, which again is kind of very natural next step after you identify your stakeholder, is being able to kind of identify the priorities among them. And um, let me share with you another very, very interesting tool that you can use after this one. Um, basically, you see a matrix here uh, that consider the different level of interest on one hand and power on the other hand that each of the identified stakeholder actually holds in relation to your challenge or innovation project. For instance, um, think about your boss. Your boss is likely to have a very, very high power and interest over your work project. However, your family is much, much likely to have the same interest, but very, very little or no power to act upon it. So power means how much influence do they have over your project idea? Can they help you move it forward? Would they, could they stop it in its tracks? And interest means how much interest do they have in your project, in your idea, and would it be beneficial to them in the end? Why is this matrix a powerful tool? So first of all, you can channel your time and energy really to the relevant stakeholders as you can determine which are, um, which are you need to manage closely and which stakeholders to just put minimum effort in. And in addition, it helps you to create a communication uh, stakeholder strategy. Um, and it's probably wise to only inform and consult um, those who exhibit very low interest and power but on the other hand, empower and collaborate with those that have a higher stake. So, um, as a recap, knowing who your stakeholders are and mentioning them is a very, very essential task for any innovator. You need to actually develop um, a proper understanding of your organization and your ecosystem, um, as well as understanding the different type of stakeholders you have, both within your team, but also outside your team. Um, and this very much can guarantee the success of your innovation project. So I hope you learned something new today and got inspired. If you su need support to push your next innovation project within the organization, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. 
See you next time with another video and another tour. Until then, bye. Bye-bye.